When I first heard battle passes were being introduced into Brawlhalla, I was a bit skeptical at first, because during that time, Fortnite had started this whole battle pass meta and after that it felt like every game had one and it was just everywhere. I mean if you were playing a free to play game it most likely had a battle pass. But with that being said, when I first saw the battle pass in game, I was actually super hyped with how it turned out. The progression skins and the taunts, all that ended up actually making me buying it. The same thing happened with this battle pass. I liked the theme so you know what, why not? And with every battle pass, there are different missions you have to do in order to get gems. And those gems help you progress into the next tier. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but does anyone feel like the new battle pass missions are starting to get a little bit more absurd? Like I understand having something like greatsword KOs or light attack uh, axe damage, or even more complicated ones like the weapon throw challenge to upgrade your Artemis progression skin. But what I don't understand is why BNG chooses to make challenges that are solely based off of RNG. For example, the home team advantage challenge where you have to win on a stage where the character has some sort of relation to it, most likely where they're from like Scarlet on Enigma or Thatch on Shipwreck, that challenge might as well be spin a slot machine because that's basically what you're doing. The game decides which map you play on and you can't really do much about it. Now you can make your chances easier by playing Strikeout and banning a map of your choice. That way you basically have three chances each time you queue into a match because that map could be linked to any of the three characters you pick. But even then, there are a lot of 1v1 maps in Brawlhalla and on top of that, you still have to win in order to complete the challenge. I remember from earlier battle passes, there were missions that kind of relied on how good your opponent was at the game. For example, exhausted recovery KOs. You know how hard that can be? Not only do you have to waste a jump to objectively use a second worst recovery, it also can put you in a position where you can easily get gimped by your opponent for wasting movement options. Wait, even this battle pass has some missions like that. Deal less damage than you take? You better hope you get a lot of gimps or it's going to be hard to take more damage without accidentally losing the match especially if your opponent has axe. Even the strike your opponents into oblivion one is kind of weird because you have to get them so damaged that when you hit them, they're stunned all the way into the blast zone. And then there are challenges that are just straight up cruel. Does anyone like having ranked challenges? I feel like nobody looks at the battle pass missions and goes like, yes, I can finally spend hours in elo hell trying to rank up my podium. Like seriously, I don't have a problem with playing ranked, but I know there are some people that rarely touch it, especially a lot of casual players. Not only do you have to win 100 ranked games for your first podium upgrade, but after that you have to win 250 ranked games, that's right, 250 just to upgrade it fully. And assuming you win around 50% of your ranked games, you're probably going to have to play like over 500 games just to completely finish your battle pass podium. So uh, yeah, good luck guys. And even then, one of the first earlier, uh, I think it was the week 1 missions was uh, rematches, so that can also help or hurt you depending on how much you like rank. Now I understand having weekly challenges that are too easy would be super boring for regular players, but making them too hard can also discourage casual players from buying the battle pass when they realize they can't even complete it. And of course general missions have to be long since they're supposed to last the whole length of the battle pass, but does anyone really want to spend that much time in ranked? I mean at least you'll get a lot of glory from it, I guess. And I'm not the only person who thinks this way. There have been some posts on the Brahala subreddit about the obscure battle pass missions and even the ranked one I just mentioned. Although take that with a grain of salt because I'm sure you can find people complaining about anything on that subreddit. Also another thing that would be nice is if the battle pass you could buy it with mammoth coins like other games, you know. I think you can buy the battle pass with V-Bucks in uh, Fortnite and I know you can buy the battle pass with their in-game currency in Warzone as well. Now the way that the battle pass gives you mammoth coins would probably have to be reduced because I think it gives you around 200. But even then, I don't think that is equal to $10, which is how much the battle pass is. But if that was the case, I'd be willing to take less mammoth coins if that meant that I could buy the battle pass with mammoth coins, but maybe that's just me. And I guess they would also lose money from that, but I don't know. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of this. Let me know what you guys think. And you know what? Since the first podium upgrade, I haven't really touched ranked after that, so I'll try to get a few games in. By the way, I really like how the new color looks on Reno. Even though it doesn't look space themed, I think it really looks good on some characters. Especially with these blasters too. I'm probably going to see a lot of guitars because of this new buff, but we'll see how it goes. I swear this guy has only done side air the whole time. Maybe a couple nares, but mostly side air. Oh, he fell for it. <laughs> that always works. I don't know. 
If you try and bait people off the top, you can just do that. I don't know if it's true, but it, it works. Oh my gosh, these guitars, man. Did I not touch the wall there? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, please give this to me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I went silent the whole time because I thought I was gonna lose. Oh, we take those. And... And side air. <laughs> it's gotta wait for the perfect time. Am I dead? Oh, this is why I hate this map. <laughs> Alright, it's still winnable. Even though I gave up that big lead like last time. Alright, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna be like the last game. I don't know how I gave up that lead. That was so bad, but like I told you, that map is cursed for me. I wasn't joking about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you disagree with anything I said. Make sure to tell me in the comments. And as always, make sure to subscribe, join the Discord if you want to hang out with some cool people. I also do giveaways there. And I think one of them ended by the time this video went up, but you know what? I will be doing more. Also follow the Twitch. We had our first stream after a while on Tuesday and thank you to everyone who joined. It was actually really fun. And if you missed it, no worries. I'll be streaming again, maybe later next week or this week, depending on when this video gets released. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Peace.